What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to check out some important updates we have received for the Samsung applications. And these updates are available on the Galaxy Store. And we'll also check whether the latest Google Play system update is available for the Galaxy S25 series, S24 series, and the S23 series. Before we dive in, if you're new here, and if you want to know your phone better, be sure to become a part of Apex community by hitting that subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative and download our wallpaper application Volvers. The link is in the video description. Now let's dive in. Let's go ahead and check out the Galaxy Store. Let me tap on update applications. We have got a huge list of updates available here. As you can see, we've got Samsung Pass, autofill with Samsung Pass, authentication framework. There is nothing new here. Let's go ahead and update these, uh, probably the stabilization and bug fixes. And then we have got the Bixby Vision framework. And we also have an update for the Bixby Vision. Now let me tap on Bixby Vision here. Here it says the performance of the scene describer in accessibility mode has been improved. Older versions may not work properly. So uh, please update to the latest version, fixed bugs and optimized performance to improve usability. Now this is an important update for some of you guys out there. I will tell you what exactly this is all about in a bit. Now let's check out the latest version. This is 3.8.21.11. Updated date is 27th March and the size is just about 24.69 MB. Now along with this app, update we also have Bixby vision framework update which is also an important update because that may be linked to this Bixby vision now let me tell you what exactly this change log all about it says performance of scene describer in accessibility mode has been improved let's open the Bixby vision here for that you need to open the camera application then you can tap on more and this is where you got Bixby vision recently on one device 7 Samsung retained Bixby vision here and removed AR zone now, by tapping on this eye icon, you can access Bixby Vision. Using this feature, we get to point the camera at the objects or the scene to get to know what exactly is there. Now, this is an accessibility feature and this may not be useful for everybody out there. And this update improves the scene describer option. So what the scene describer does is when you point the camera at a specific object or a scene, it describes what the camera is looking at. If at all you're visually impaired and you want to understand your surroundings, then this feature is going to be very, very useful. And this update improves this feature. The older version may not work well, and it also fixes bugs and optimizes performance to improve usability. Let me go ahead and update this. I'll also update the Bixby Vision Framework. The next update is for Photo Editor. Again here, this fixes the bugs. Let me open Photo Editor. The latest version here is 3.6.22.22. This is a photo editing tool which is available within Samsung Gallery application. Let me go ahead and update this and let's see if there is anything new here. Let me open a specific image and show you guys if there is any orange dot or anything. Let me tap on open here. It is taking me to the gallery. Now let me open a specific image here. Let me open this one. I don't see any orange dot or anything over here. So this could be a bug fix or something like that. Let me tap on the three dot button here. I'll go to the settings. And here we've got photo editor settings. This is a brand new option which got added recently on One UI 7, I guess, if I'm not wrong. Uh, it says fine tune the color and exposure of raw images in a specialized editor before moving to the standard photo editor for cropping, FX and other edits. So this is an option that we now have on the photo editor which was recently added. Now uh, basically this is a bug fix update that we have for photo editor. And uh, now let's tap on parental controls. This is a latest update. Again, there is nothing mentioned here. Again, this is just a bug fix maybe. And uh, the version number is 2.5.08.9. This is the latest version. Let's go ahead and update this as well. We have got smart things. Under smart things, we have got a couple of new options here under what's new section. You can see we can broadcast to your family through the speakers. Now I don't really use smart things application, so I may not be able to demonstrate this feature to you. The second feature is set it up so that you only receive notifications at the time you want. So that's a new notification settings now we have on a smart things find application create a routine to automatically launch the channel you want on tv plus that's another new feature we have got now we can create a routine to automatically launch the channel that we want on tv plus so three brand new features added now by the way uh, this is my cat's tail here if you're wondering what is this <laughs> she's sleeping right here uh, so she's just wagging her tail here so <laughs> just ignore it now uh, let me go ahead and update this and uh, let's go back. We've got Keys Cafe here that has got a brand new update. Let me open this. It says applied One UI 7 stabilization code, fixed issue where apps occasionally crashed, 
Fixed issue where themed keyboard appeared in an outdated version. Fixed issue where badges were displayed incorrectly in the keyboard editing screen. Other UI and operation errors improved. So basically, there are many bug fixes here for the Keys Cafe, which is a brilliant application to customize your keyboard, the Samsung keyboard, and a must download application if you are into customization on the Galaxy phone. So let me go ahead and update this as well. And let's open the Keys Cafe application. This is the latest version of Keys Cafe. We can make our own keyboard here. We can style our own keyboard. And uh, we have got my sticker option where we can create our own stickers. Play keyboard game. We have got two games here. This is kind of outdated. I don't think anybody would be playing these games here on the keyboard. And we have got advanced keyboard settings where we can enable these toggles, auto replacement sensitivity, turn off delete accelerator, double tap interval of uh, three by four keyboards use sticker suggestions in a larger view. Now these toggles can also be enabled. If you want a dedicated video for Keys Cafe, let me know. I can uh, explain everything that we have here and how does it work. I will let you know everything. So if you want that video, do let me know in the comment section. Now these are some important updates we have got for the Samsung applications. Now let's go ahead and check out whether we have got the latest update for uh, the Google Play system. Let's go to the settings and here let's tap on security and privacy and tap on updates. This is stuck at October patch. Let me go ahead and tap on this. Let's see if the new update is available. Nope, we still have the update for October. Now let me check this on the uh, S24 Ultra because this device has already got the update. Now this is kind of annoying when uh, the latest device doesn't get the latest updates. And I'm not very sure why uh, this is stuck in the month of October 2024. Now let's go to the settings here on the S24 Ultra. This is on One UI 7 Beta. Let me tap on security and privacy and updates. You can see we currently have February Google Play system update. Let me tap on this and let's check if the uh, March update is available for S24 series. It says your device is up to date. So currently for the S24 series, we have got February Google Play system update. Let's also check the update for the S23 Ultra. Let me keep the S24 aside. We've got the S23 Ultra here. Let's go the settings, security and privacy, updates. Again, here we can see February 2025 Google Play system update. Let's check the latest update if we have something here. Now, this is also up to date. We have got Google Play system update for February 2025 and no update whatsoever for the last few months on the S25 series. Now, I do not know why this is happening and I don't really know the kind of vulnerabilities that we have on the S25 series as far as the Google Play system update is concerned. Let's wait and see when we are going to get the update for this. That's all we have here. Those are the updates. Go ahead, download and install all these updates for your Galaxy phone. And yeah, I also forgot to mention that we now have the uh, latest update for the Google, uh, sorry, the Galaxy Store on the Galaxy uh, S24 series. This is the latest version 6.6.15.2 and uh, on the S25 series, we already have the same version 6.6.15.2. I'll just go ahead and update this. You can also check the update for your Galaxy Store and install the latest updates. These are some of the updates you need to check and install. And let me know if you have got any Google Play system update available for the Galaxy S25 series. If you rock a S25 Ultra, S25 regular, S25 Plus, do check the Google Play system update and let me know whether you have got the latest update for your device or like me whether you are also stuck in the month of October 2024 Google Play system update. Drop a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope you have subscribed. Hope you have hit that like button and hope you have downloaded the wallpaper application Volvers. This beautiful grayscale home screen wallpaper is also recently added on the application. Check out the link in the description. Go ahead and download it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.